generative fill, Adobe Photoshop generative fill. And the reason is, I mean, I, I like my picture overall, but we've got some issues. We've got somebody here just kind of standing there. Um, and I can't expect people all to go away from my photos. So I'll circle it, generative fill, and I don't anticipate any issues with this one. It's a pretty simple task. Okay, there we go. Um, that was about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So, all right, now this guy here. And generate to fill. I don't even have to type anything. All right, that worked perfectly. And the lady here, let's get rid of you. Okay, and let's go ahead and remove you too. I'll let the clothes stay, because that would just be a lot of unnecessary work, and it's pretty small at that point. And that's pretty good. I could do a little more, but as I said, once I zoom out... I mean, I don't know. What if I did just try to... I mean, it's not going to be the way it is any longer, but I'm okay with that. You know what? Actually, I think I like this better. Let's get it back to the way nature made it. Yeah. Okay. So, I actually like this a lot more. And these are non-destructive tasks, so if I wanted, I could see, you know, cover the guy, cover that, 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 that. And then I would just flatten it and save it, and there's my new image, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this. I like it better. I like uh, more of the nature part. 